Hello everyone, Josh here, and today I'm gonna to be showing you five free video editing softwares. Now, here's the thing. The softwares that I'm gonna be covering in this video, I'm going to be approaching as a newbie video editor. I haven't really used the software so much, so I'm going to be running down each of these softwares and we're gonna figure out together what is the best free software to get. Now, since I am a MacBook Pro user, I'm going to be running over the Mac OS software, and a lot of it is also available for Windows. Now, I'm gonna start off with the really easy, simple iMovie software. This is something that's really similar to Final Cut Pro, which is a professional video editing software, and they made this thing so simple, so easy, but on the downside of the software, it is limited on what it can do. But all we have to really do is just create a new project here. You can create a movie or a trailer. I'm only interested in creating a movie, so I'm gonna just tap on that. And all softwares are really similar when it comes down to the layout. We have the media library, which is right here. We have the preview box. We have the timeline, which is where we're gonna be placing our footage in order, making all of those trims and cuts. And we're gonna have our effects panel. So I'm gonna start off by dragging and dropping some clips into iMovie. And the caveat with using cheaper software or free software for that matter, like iMovie, some of the codecs that that camera records in won't be readable by or readable by iMovie. For example, if I drag and drop this file right here, which was shot in H.265 encoding, iMovie won't read it. So you're gonna need more professional software. So here's a clip right here of chocolate being stirred in a pot. This was actually a really fun video I shot with a chef, one of my clients. And what's really great about iMovie is that within the media library, so for example, if I import a few more clips, in the media library, I can actually make the trims of the clip without having it imported into the timeline. So I can actually select the best part out of this clip, which is right here, and just drag and drop it right into the timeline. And iMovie is built for Mac computers, so playback is going to be very, very smooth, as you can see right here. Now, one other downside with iMovie is that it doesn't have powerful color correction. Now, this won't be a complete in-depth tutorial on how to use iMovie, but my overall experience with it as a beginner is pretty good because it has most of the basics that we need as filmmakers and as video creators. Since we're talking about easy to use software, let's bring up Movavi. Movavi just released their 2021 version of Movavi Video Editor Plus. And the Movavi vlog team has prepared a special Black Friday deal for all of those who want to get the brand new Movavi Video Editor Suite. Movavi Video Suite 2021 is not just a program, it's a whole software package by Movavi that includes the latest Movavi Video Editor Plus 2021. Movavi Screen Recorder 2021, and Movavi Video Converter Premium 2021, and even more. Use our promo code VLOGFRIDAY to get a 30% discount on Movavi Video Suite 2021. The promo code expires on December 3rd. If you're a Windows user and want to get the most from Movavi, we have something cool to offer. Movavi Unlimited. The annual subscription, which includes 12 Movavi programs and the one-year access to Movavi Effects Store, is available with 20% off. Use the promo code VLOGUNLIMITED to get the discount on this subscription. The promo code expires on December 3rd. Now back to the video. Here's another piece of software. This is called Wondershare Filmora 9. This is a free video editing software, and as you can see here, it's built very closely to iMovie. We have our media library, we have our project preview box, and we have our timeline. The overall layout of this software is more professional than iMovie. As you can see here, our timeline just looks a lot better when we have more options, and we'll cover some of these options a little bit later. This looks very similar to that of more professional software. So let's go ahead and import similar footage, and let's see how it works within Filmora. 
Overall import speed seems to be pretty good. And look at this, for faster editing performance, you can work with smaller proxy copies. Now this is very important. Filmora has the option to create proxy copies. And what this is, is it's a lower resolution file of your video clips. And this helps out with editing because it depends less on your processing speed. So it goes a little bit easier on your processor when you're using lower res files. And then let's see how well the playback is. Not bad, not bad at all. Let's scrub through the timeline here. I already noticed that iMovie plays back a little bit smoother, but this is definitely workable. And let's see what coloring options they have here. And we have a ton of different presets, which I'm not really interested in because I like to do everything manually. And let's see what we can do with the manual color corrections. We have contrast saturation, which I'm gonna increase. And now you can start hearing the fans in my computer pick up because this starts taking up a lot of processing power. When you're exporting these videos using this software, a watermark is gonna show up and that doesn't look that professional. With iMovie, you don't get any watermark. Next up, we have a software called Blender. And as you can see here, it looks very overwhelming. There's just so many things going on. As a video editor, I'm like, whoa. Very confusing, but it looks like Blender can do a few things. It has 2D animation, VFX, sculpting, all built into one software, but I'm not really interested in that. It's a little too much for me. <laughs> so I'm gonna just go into the video editing option. I really wish this didn't pop up like this, but then again, this is free software, so you can't really complain too much about this. So I'm gonna go right into video editing. And we have a similar layout. We have our media library, our preview box, and our timeline. This does look very outdated compared to the previous two softwares that we were talking about. It just looks blocky, doesn't look modern. Um, these folders, I just don't like the way it looks. Uh, but then again, it is free software. So let's go ahead and import some footage and see how we can work with it. All right, so here's our footage. Playback is extremely slow. This is embarrassing. Not all free software is good software, guys. So when you're choosing or learning how to video edit, Try as many different softwares as you can. You might run into software like this where it's just freezing or frozen and it doesn't give you any options to down res your videos or just make it easier to work with. I'm just clicking around the timeline here and you can see how long it takes and how long it lags. Blender, definitely not a good software for those of you who are starting out in video editing and filmmaking just does not look like it's user friendly. Next on the list, we have OpenShot Video Editor. Now this is a software that, again, looks very similar to iMovie and Filmora. We have our media library right here in this blank space. We have our preview box and our timeline. These softwares are built very similarly. What's important is the functionality. Can we color correct? Is the playback smooth enough? That's what you need to look for when you are researching video editing software. So again, let's import the same footage that we had earlier. So we have a similar drag and drop system as the previous softwares, which I like. I'm very used to drag and drop. So let's see how the playback is when I put it into my timeline. Very choppy. Very, very choppy. This is not something I can really use to edit my videos. However, I do like the fact that all the tracks are labeled. So it looks like we can have three layered tracks, which is great. So even though the playback isn't that smooth, it is possible that this software wasn't really meant for Mac computers. Let's go ahead and navigate through and see what we can do with this footage. We have some basic effects here that are pixelated in the thumbnails, which doesn't look good as a first impression. And it's very limited with the effects. 
it looks like I can't even drag and drop it over the footage. Let's go to the transitions here. They look outdated. This is something I've seen before in software from 10 years ago. So this is not something new. And overall, my impressions are not that great. We have an option to cut and trim our clips right here. If you want, you can give this software a try, but as a beginner, I mean, I'm a professional and it's difficult for me to learn this software. And last but not least, we have DaVinci Resolve. Now this software is extremely professional, but how is it free? What's the catch? Well, currently with the free version, you are limited to only 1080p exports. And again, we get a very similar layout to the previous softwares that I mentioned. We have the media pool, which is also the media library. We have the preview box and we have our timeline. Let's go ahead and import some of the footage that I used before. Let's check playback. Very smooth, love it. No need for extra processing time or anything like that. Let's dive deep or at least try to dive deep into the color correction process because this software has a ton of different features with color correction. And here is where we're gonna go into color correction. We are not working in layers. Instead, we are working with nodes, which is kind of similar. It's kind of like a family tree. And what this will allow you to do is create different adjustments and corrections for each of those nodes. You can see how complicated this software gets, but this is what the professionals use. This is, you can't really get more pro than this, especially with color correction. It's honestly more pro than what I need it for, but if you really want to get into color correction, this is the software to use. So here we have the gamma gain offset and lift curves. You can adjust the colors right here. Very subtle adjustments. So now you can see how I made the colors pop on the chocolate. We made the center of the frame pop out while everything else on the outside is still kind of muted and that's exactly what we want. And that's what DaVinci Resolve was meant to do. And if you go back to the original timeline view, you can obviously still cut, trim, and edit your footage like you would any other sort of video editing software. So that does it for today's video on the top five free video editing softwares. If this video has helped you out, please give it a like and subscribe with those notifications turned on, and I'll see you in another video.